Gale, Gale Force wins, and I want to tell you what a great time I'm having right here, corner of Adelaide and Young, beautiful downtown Toronto, a lot of cool people in the room, meetings and event planners. We're here sharing ideas, collaborating. Why don't you introduce yourself? Yeah. Tell us what you do. Absolutely. I'm Marlene Slaney. I'm the director of group sales at the Sheraton Hotel Newfoundland. And of course, we're here as well to share in all the excitement. This is one of my favorite events because there's so many people here. And I'm really looking forward to a night of networking and meeting new clients, connecting with old clients. And I'm pretty excited to be here and for, of course, for the conference over the next couple of days. Marlene, what do you hope to get out of it? Like, what do you hope to get out of tonight and the conference in general? Well, um, being uh, an association and a group seller, um, our relationships aren't short. They're ongoing for years and years. So I have so many clients here, but I don't I don't call them clients anymore. I call them friends because we've known them for so long. So my my hope is to reconnect, catch up, hopefully to bring some new business and some repeat business back to St. John's, our beautiful city uh, in Newfoundland and Labrador, and also to meet some new clients clients uh, along the way as well and to start uh, some new relationships so that's my goal exciting things happening in the meeting and events world right now talk to me about that absolutely well uh, the numbers are back since the the C word uh, COVID uh, they're back with a vengeance I know in in my city in st. John's uh, Newfoundland and Labrador our numbers and our conference uh, world is busier than ever we are crazy we are uh, our, my clients are uh, they're fighting for space uh, you know, used to be a uh, high conference season was uh, May, June, uh, September, October, but now they're spreading out to July and August, which was normally a transient season uh, for, uh, you know, tourist uh, season. But now uh, conferences are just looking to squeeze in wherever they can fit because they're mandated, of course, to, to do the rotation and to have their AGMs. So uh, we're really excited. Next year in June, we are we are already full and September uh, even into we're we're booking into 2030 so it's really exciting to see it back I think everybody missed everybody so much and uh, they just need to catch up and get back where it was so it's headed in the right direction for sure Marlene final thoughts what would you tell people about St. John's Newfoundland oh what would you talk my to goodness St. John's is such a vibrant colorful city um, even myself living there uh, have noticed the tremendous changes and you know we we had to compromise or uh, you know um, come up with new ideas during the pandemic and we've held on to those ideas because they work for us you know we have outdoor pedestrian malls we have concerts coming galore we just had I don't know if I'm allowed to say names but it's pretty public Pitbull we have Shania Twain coming we had uh, Nickelback it's amazing the crowds that are pouring out thousands and thousands of uh, and we had our regatta this year there was over uh, I'm not sure of the numbers I think it was over 40,000 people 175th the Prime Minister of Canada was there our premier it's 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 a great time to come to St. John's and to Newfoundland there's so much to do and so many people we're we're a great bunch of people and we'd love to have you <laughs> Marlene an absolute pleasure having you on the podcast Thank and, you. Uh, we look forward to seeing you in around the East Side of St. John's. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. All right.